I'd appreciate it if you would be standing in my corner. Tell me about this standing in your corner. At your job. What's going on at your job? I love my tip. Yeah. Still looking good. What's up? <sighs> Are you content with your job? It feels like you're being targeted at work or for what you do for work. Oh, you're just happy. Oh, okay. Is that the new thing now? Look at look at this guy sitting here while you're working. Look, mm -hmm. right? Is this the supervisor? Is this union? I know. I'm gonna get. You know what I mean. Look at him. Mm, right, that nail. Mm -hmm. Right. This is your. You're, he's supposed to be working with you though. All right. There you go. Uh, yeah. Please tell me that there aren't men or. It feels like a man's job, although women could be there. I hope... He's watching a woman work, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's knocking every single thing that she does. The woman is targeted, is what it feels like. I wouldn't have to do this shit if my bum-ass child's father was around and paying child support. Not only are you a hard worker physically, but you are a problem solver. Are you looking for a management position? What? Tell me what else is going on here. There. Oh my God. How uncomfortable is this? I think that you feel on every day. You feel uncomfortable, and then you don't. You have to talk yourself. You know what I would listen to? Is it the kind of job that you can have headphones in, even if it's in one ear? I would listen to those motivational videos all friggin' day long. I guarantee you, you'll fly through the shit. Because I do feel like at some point, you're very confident. And then, what they, they just show me, like, yo, come here, come here, come here. I want to get some names for these punk-ass dudes who are watching a woman work. They want you like this. And I feel like it just makes you more confident. Tell me the, what these bum-ass guys are up to watching this woman. It feels like building or electrical work. Demo. This could be Lowe's, Home Depot. M.I. Even the paints. M.A.B. Is this paint? D.Y. You're a D.I.Y. type of chick. C.K. I don't care. I already know that's what it's going to be. You went to, I'm guessing you went to the manager and you were like, yo, I'm doing all the work. You know, I got kids at home and she's a woman, isn't she? This woman, whoever this woman is, you, you have, is your family connected to something? Okay. Are you telling them about what's going on at work? No. I think they want to get into some shit anyway. Bail? Oh, okay. I got it. They are taking men out of jail. I'm guessing that they're putting up their bail. There could be sexual favors being done with people in, in jail or prison, wardens or COs and stuff, to let them out. I'm not sure if it's permanent or if they just do this just to get the woman to quit. It's temporary. I just need you to sit there, watch her, make her feel uncomfortable, knock her work. I need to get the managers in. Why is this, sir? Because you're intimidated by a fucking woman that can actually outwork you. Is that what it is? And then... If I'll bail you out or I'll get you out. This could even be people who have court, wind up getting released, ROR, and they shouldn't. I'm disgusted. I kind of thought at one point when I leave here 
that I wanted just a life of a relaxation. And I don't know if that's for me. I'm not sure how you feel. I'm, I'm on the fence with maybe half and half. You know, do a little bit of partying, a little bit of meh, relaxation. And then I feel like we need to hit the streets because shit like this is just going to keep going on. I don't see the judicial system, the actual judicial system changing. These are entitled cops. Some of them are. And you're in train, or you're just out of training, and this is what you're doing already. Others of you, you're not even cops. What other bit of advice? XL. Oh, you're a pretty woman too. You have bigger men and women targeting you. I. It, don't eat any of the food there. If they serve food, this is going to be for multiple women at different places of work. If there's a cafeteria or some shit like that, and they already have trays made up, for some of you it's in the hospital and stuff, make them make your tray up right there. Because for somebody in particular, they already they make it seem like they hooked you up. They're putting shit in your food. Yeah, say no. I would even just start bringing your lunch even if you have to cut back. On, on food. I can't stand this. It's disgusting. Let's find out about what some of these guys are up to, though. Am, am I? This could be Michael, Mitchell, Dylan, Charles, Kurt. Give me some other names, please. FM. They're trying to get into the Freemasons. When PE. When you have to. Okay. A Freeman. When you have to do this shit to get, I guess, acknowledged or accepted into something else, I don't know how men can sleep at night. I really don't. Even misogynist. I'm, I'm a bit of a misogynist. I have a problem with women. And it's, this still bothers me. And it's not because I'm a woman. I relate to men and as a man more than I do as a woman just because of the shit that I've done and been through in my life. At the same time, I couldn't sit there and watch. I definitely couldn't just do it, but I couldn't even watch it. Is it all the women? I have to pause this for a minute. I know more than anybody that it's, it's easy to say just ignore it. Because I have the same thing here where they have speakers set up. And people think that it's it's hard for me to just disconnect myself from this shit. And if they didn't have speakers and people around me, but then they started leaving the hotel to try to make me look crazy. And they would put speakers around me and have people saying shit all night long. I hear it all night long. Brian hears it all night long. He has to get up and go to work. And he hears them talking all night long. So I understand. And I'm, so I'm not going to say ignore it. I would know and put that shit out there, even if you don't feel comfortable saying it out loud, that they'll die. I'm going to say it. If anybody bullies women at work, I don't care if it's the men who can't keep the fuck up or if it's the women who like to take their side for whatever reason because you're insecure and incompetent as well and unattractive and you have no skill, you're going to die. You're going to drop dead at the job. There are going to be businesses that are just going to see employees just drop to the fucking floor. I can't stand the shit. And if it was up to me, I don't want to go out by myself. You know, I would rather go out with some other people and just handle shit like this. Until then, all I can say is don't quit your job. Don't give them what they want. You know that there's a reason. They don't target people with no skill and no worth. That's why they're not getting targeted. And listen to those. For those of you who can't and they're going to say you can't listen to that shit, just put something in your ear and have your hair down or some shit like that. You're very, even if you have to go into the bathroom every once in a while and put headphones on or something, an earbud, and listen to those motivational videos, that's all I can say. I'm sick of this shit. No way.